Okay, here's our video demonstration of the KNS 4523 AD, which means uh, it has auto step back and it's uh, digital. Uh, on the left hand side, you have a keypad and a screen here. And uh, this is how you would set up all your parameters. Uh, you're, you're able to uh, save up to 200 programs. Right now, I'm in program number one. Uh, to load a program, you would just hit load, for instance. And, as you see, it says load program, and we'll accept that. And then you can uh, use the arrow keys, and uh, uh, if you can't really see this, this is plus and minus here. So you change some of the uh, bond parameters. You can adjust your loop, uh, your search, your loop tail, step. This is all uh, described in the manual that you will uh, uh, come along with the system. Uh, the other thing I want to point out here is it uses, uh, this has a standard access clamp. Uh, let's just move the work stage out of the way. So the, the clamp is directly behind as a tool. The tool being used here is uh, a small precision tools, and that's the part number of it that we're using. This is a 0.828 length tool. You can use either 0 0.750 or 0.828. Uh, this is using a half-inch spool of one mil gold wire. You have your heated work stage here with your temperature controller on the right here. Uh, it's recommended you set your temperature for gold wire bonding to 150. And this is being mechanically held down by these uh, clamps here. And you put your device in here and clamp down on it. On the right-hand side here, you have your chessman. You would use this little black button here for your manual mode operation, and in order to do that, you have to enable manual on your keypad. And you see the green light turns on, and then at this point, your head should move up and down manually. I'm going to switch back to semi-automatic mode. Uh, over here, you do have a, a, a few switches here. One is for high reset. If you watch, the head moves up higher here. I'll go ahead and turn it on and off a couple of times. That's your normal reset, and you do have a high reset. And this allows you to move underneath uh, more freely if you have a large package in there. You do have a clamp open and close switch on the right here. And you can barely see it, but this clamp is opening and clo closing. That's used for when you're feeding the wire through and whenever it's necessary that you need to find where you need to open the clamp. Uh, you have your light on off switch. You have a test switch now that's going to test your ultrasonics on your tool. I usually just touch it with a pair of tweezers. You can hear that it's on. But what you want to see is the green light here indicating that it's tuned properly. You have a reset and a setup button. Reset will reset uh, set up the machine, and the setup is used for uh, testing the, uh, the force that's on the, uh, the tool. Again, this is all explained in the manual that you receive. Uh, you have your microscope here and an Olympus. And uh, you can adjust magnification from 0 0.9 to 4. And then your focus is over here on the right. All right, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm set up to do. I have my uh, bond parameters in and saved on program number one. And I'll just demonstrate a few bonds here in uh, semi automatic mode. And in semi-automatic mode, you'll position using your uh, chessman here, and you'll use your right, I mean your left uh, button on the keypad on the uh, on the uh, manipulator here. You use your left uh, button in order to activate the head, and it'll cycle through. So what you're going to do is press and hold after you're lined up, and. Uh, That'll set you at your search height, which is just above the surface. When you release it, it'll go down and make bond one, make the first bond. It automatically step, step, uh, steps back to the position programmed in your step. Again, this has a motor that drives in uh, forward and reverse. That's your auto step back feature. And then it's that loop height and in, in just above the second position. You go ahead and hit the chest one again. The left hand button, press and hold. And now you're at search two, and you go ahead and make your second bond. At this point, it'll move back to your original position. 
Okay. So uh, I noticed that the tail, we don't have a tail here, so I'm going to go ahead and adjust this so that the, uh, the wires and the, and the tool correctly. All right, so uh, I have the wire in place. I have a slight tail. It's, it, you probably won't be able to see it here, but look through the microscope. You want to see a little bit of wire underneath the uh, bonding tool, and that's called the tail. And it's in position now, and I'll go ahead and, again, do search one, release, bond one is formed, steps back, and also moves up to loop height position. Again, press the uh, chessman left button and hold. That's your search too. You can reposition as ne necessary. When you release it, it'll go ahead and make the second bond. And then it steps back to the original position. I'll just do a couple of bonds in a row here. And uh, if you need to adjust your bond parameters, you can go over to the keypad here, for instance, and uh, go ahead and increase the force slightly on bond one, and uh, what, uh, whatever is necessary. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and switch it to manual mode, and I'm going to use the, le the, uh, the black thumb button on the chessman here, and I'll go ahead and do a manual bond. So I'm bringing the head down. It's manually controlled. So you can move up and down by using the button. I'll go ahead down and make the first button and then I have to, the automatic setback is now turned off and then you can go ahead and reposition for your second bond and then bring it down and make your second bond. Right. Again this is manual mode, just using the keypad, I mean the uh, black button on the chessman, bond one, step back and go ahead and make bond two. Okay. That's our demonstration of the operation of the uh, KNS 4523AD.